Hey everyone, welcome back to another amazing After Effects tutorial. Today, we are creating a custom sparking text or logo animation. You will learn many new tips in this tutorial, so make sure to watch till the end. Before we dive in, do not forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and follow me on Instagram for more incredible tips and tricks. Now, let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Call it main holder and set its size to a 16 is to 9 ratio. Then, press OK. After that, select the text tool and type your text. I will write power and change the font to whatever you like. Then, center align the text and increase its scale a little bit. Change the text color to blue. Next, pre-compose this text. Call it text holder and press OK. Now go to the effects and presets panel. Search for Vegas effect and apply it to the text holder composition. Change the segment's value to 1. Set the blend mode to transparent and change its color to match the text. Then adjust the length value to 0 0.7 and enable random phase. After this, set the width value to 3.8 and the hardness to 1. Now, go to the Image Contours option. Set Render to Selected Contours and Channel to Alpha. Then, add an expression to Selected Contours by holding the Alt key. Type Random 20 Next, Go to the Effects and Presets panel. Search for Compound Blur. And set the blur value to 35. Then, search for Curves in the Effects panel. Change its channel to Alpha and tweak the curve graph like this. Duplicate the Curves effect and tweak the graph again. Now duplicate the text holder composition, rename the duplicate layer to Sparks, and delete all effects except Vegas. Solo this layer. Go under the Vegas effect and add an expression to the rotation by holding the Alt key click on the stopwatch and add. Time multiply 35. Now go to the Effects and Presets panel. Search for Turbulent Displace and set Amount to 260. Size to 20. Add an expression to offset turbulence by holding the alternate key, then add wiggle 400, 350 in parenthesis. Similarly, add another expression to evolution. Time multiply 50. At this point, you will see the sparks and text happening at different times. To synchronize them, we need to parent the sparks layer selected contours to the text holder layer selected contours. To do this, reveal all expressions. Then use the pick whip tool to parent them.
Now duplicate the sparks layer and delete all its effects. Then press T for opacity. Hold the Alt key. Click on the stopwatch and add this expression. Random 30,0. Duplicate this layer again. Remove the opacity expression. Then add a keyframe on opacity, move that keyframe slightly ahead, and set its value to zero at the beginning. Adjust the keyframes, then press F9 to easy ease them. Next, add an opacity keyframe for the sparks layer to create a fade out effect at the end. Set its opacity to zero when the main text reveals. Then copy these keyframes and paste them onto the text holder layer. Now select all layers and press Ctrl plus Shift plus C to pre-compose them. Right click on the timeline and create a new adjustment layer. Apply optics compensation effect in it. Then enable reverse lens distortion and add a keyframe on field of view. At 2 seconds 15 frames, set the value to 0. At 1 second, change it to 160. Next, add a glow effect from the effects and presets panel. And adjust the glow settings. Add a keyframe on radius. Go a few frames ahead and set its value to zero. Now apply the transform effect. Add a keyframe on scale, go to the end of the animation, and change the scale value to 90. Select all keyframes, press F9 for easy ease, and adjust the graph like this. For extra touch, you can also add keyframe on view center option to make it more impactful. This animation is fully customizable. If you change the text or add a logo to the text holder composition, the main holder layer will update automatically. And that is our final animation. You can use these techniques in many different ways for your projects. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. If you create something inspired by this tutorial, I would love to see it. Share it on your Instagram story and tag me. Also, if you want to grab my premium projects file, you will find the link in the description. See you in the next one.